Today we're testing Lady Gaga's Le Monster Matte Lip Crayon in Beauty vs. Food Quarantine Edition. It's been a while, but I am here testing the House Laboratories Le Monstre Matte Lip Crayon in a Beauty vs. Food Edition. If you're new, let me explain a bit. It's 2020 and by now almost every makeup brand has a matte lipstick option. We have more choices than ever now with brands continuing to release new products and some of these products have some pretty big claims. How do we know if they can actually perform what they attest to? To test these claims out, I created a challenge called Beauty vs. Food where I take these matte lip products and see if they can last as long as they claim by testing them against food in an all day wear test. There are two questions to answer with this test. One, can the products hold up to their claims? And two, are these products able to last without a touch-up? For today's episode, I wanted to check Lady Gaga's brand, House Laboratories, and their release of the Lay Monster Matte Lip Crayon. Can you use this every day? Can you use this all day long without touch-ups? Let's get into the details. This product is a full coverage creamy formula which strikes in one swipe with lightweight matte payoff. Emphasis on the matte. The Lay Monster Matte Lip Crayon is meant to glide on the lips smoothly with a creamy application and then dry down to a budge-free matte finish. Other features mentioned are non-feathering, lightweight, and water resistant. This doesn't have an hour stamp that I could find, so I kind of was testing this to see how long it would just last on my lips. And before we get any further into this, you're going to see a lot of my house and home cooked meals. I tested this product out twice. Once right at the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak and then another one during. Let's start with the first day of testing, which took place on March 5th before the lockdowns began. I received my order of the House Labs Le Monster Matte Lip Crayon in the mail mid-afternoon and I applied it immediately. The application was exactly as it was described. It was super creamy in the beginning and then it dried down matte. The first thing I did after application was actually heading to the gym since this product claims to be waterproof. I had to test to see how it would hold up against sweat. I did about an hour at the gym and I did not notice any difference, not in the pigment or the coverage. I did run into one issue, washing my face after the workout. I was very careful by using a washcloth around the face area. After showering, I had my first test, which was drinking a protein shake. With this test, I wanted to see how much of the lip crayon would transfer. What I noticed was a very, very tiny amount transferred onto the little spout and I didn't see any visible difference on the lips itself. Wow. But again, this first test was quite simple, so we were moving on. The second test is where I really tested it because I tested it against some greasy pizza. Also, sad side note, this is from my favorite restaurant that's no longer open because of COVID and I'm so sad watching the footage. The first check-in here is with a napkin. It showed really small amounts of transfer, so pretty good for now. Second check-in is where I started to see more of the product transferring onto the napkin, which made sense because now there's more grease, right? And what removes these products is oil, so that made sense. At this point, you can see the most visible changes happening to the lips. You can see a little bit coming off, especially to the side, and the pigment doesn't seem as bright as it did before. You can see that there is a little bit more transferring over to the bottle than earlier with the protein shake as well. So, 
I'm so full right now. I ate too much. <sighs> and here you can tell that the center is definitely the area that has lost the pigment and coverage, which tends to happen most with lip products. You guys, how can I finish without some dessert? So here's a bonus of this chocolate mousse against the matte lip crayon before I promise that I fully finished eating. And here are the results from the House Laboratories Lay Monster Matte that Lip Crayon as tested against a, a workout, a protein hours. shake, pizza, Not and dessert. Horrible but uh, definitely missing slightly in the middle. On this day of testing, I kept the lip crayon on for eight hours. Coverage was definitely hit in the middle and pigment was definitely a lot lighter by the end. Comparing it to the beginning of the day, you can see a pretty significant change. Now that you've seen the results of day one, let's move on to day two that took place on March 30th, which started with an impromptu get ready I'm with me session. I'm actually going to step out of the house, which doesn't happen often these days. I don't even know the last time I went out of the house, but we need some groceries, so we are going to venture out. Even though it's the quarantine, it does not mean that you don't wear your sunscreen. A little bit of concealer and just blend. If you let it sit for a little bit, it, it will give you a little bit more coverage. And we're going to apply it, and I'm going to show you the time that we're done applying it so we can keep track of ourselves. I did find the first application to be exactly as the description stated. Super easy to glide on and lightweight with a very creamy feeling. With the lip crayon applied, it was time to head to the store. 2.09 when we are starting this. We arrived to the store and honestly, our stores never got hit too hard except the toilet paper aisle, of course. And most of the things were in stock, except the one thing that I needed for my dinner recipe. I bought a substitute and we headed back to the house. With lipstick, it dries down like super matte and you can't feel it, but it still transfers like a little bit. Once back home, I washed my hands, of course, as it was time to begin the first test of the Lady Monster Matte Lip Crayon. For test one, I had a black lentil soup and naan. Last bite of the first one. Last bite. Virtually untouched. All right, zoom and test. I didn't notice any difference on the lips after the main course at all, but of course, knowing me, I had to add in some dessert. This is the best part here. Wait, 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 wait. They don't have chocolate on the sides? it's only the top no they have it on the side oh, is that hard here's time? another side note I've been watching a lot of Vikings and I was really into the plot at this time so excuse all my crazy commentary now he's gonna be just with that random woman I just don't you either die you either die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain ooh, ooh, ooh. that's gonna be cold her eyebrows are even better than that other woman, that it's like, you can't have those eyebrows back then. You know they couldn't. The official end of the first test, I didn't show any big visible changes in the lip. I didn't feel like any of it was slipping off or any of it was noticeably coming off. With a lot of matte lipsticks, the lips will feel dry. This product, the lips do not feel dry, which is super, super nice. Fast forward a few hours, at about 8 p.m., I started to make dinner, but not before having a little donut snack. Seriously, this quarantine time has me eating way too much of the wrong kinds of food. Post donut, you can see the pigment is a little bit lighter, but there's nothing major in the change. Also, for your viewing pleasure, here's a little random cooking demo of how I attempted, and attempted is a key word here, to cook a kimchi stew. They didn't have the regular tofu at the store, so I had to buy a curry version of it. 
and it didn't look too good. Right before eating, I did a quick workout and then I started my last and final test. For the final test, I had rice and kimchi stew. This was about six hours into the test. The rice, that's really not that bad. Reclaimed. and you can see by the end of it, a little bit had started to remove right from the center of the lips. Especially back in the studio lights, the color stayed really, wow. really strongly. Like you wow. can see, even though it's it started to dry off a little bit towards the end and of course, always towards the middle, it starts to come off a little bit. My final, final check-in was at 11.56. So this, this was like a good 10 hours of wait time, which was a pretty long time, I would say, for a product. When you zoom in, you can of course notice the center is always the one that gets hit the most, but um, it wasn't terrible for how long I had had it on and all the food that I had tested it against. With this test, you can see that the coverage and the pigmentation definitely took a much bigger hit than the other test. But honestly, I don't think it's actually that bad. I would say, depending on what you're eating, this lip crayon can easily last you six to eight hours against food. And it did match the claims that were stated. It is full coverage, it's creamy, provides pigment in one swipe, it's lightweight with a budge-free matte finish. It is non-feathering and water resistant. But as always, I like to end these videos by asking you what you thought. Would you consider this a winner or a loser of beauty versus food? And would you pick it up? Thanks for watching and I will see you all next week. This is the only way I'm getting a haircut. Don't do any research. I'm just gonna wing it. Ear pain. You think this can cut flesh? <laughs>